Yo, what's up guys? I'm Harigama. Welcome back to episode 17 of this Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock Challenge. In the last episode, we made it to Olivine City and finished up the Lighthouse incident. Well, we didn't finish it, but we went through the Lighthouse and battled a bunch of people. And, uh, so yeah, so for today's episode, we're gonna try going on to another town or maybe try getting the light- the secret potion for the Ampharos in the Lighthouse. Unless we have to do something else crazy, but uh, see so yeah, that's the plan for today's episode So if you are excited to see today's episode be sure to pick up that like button down below and all that good stuff Because your support is always greatly appreciated and the support has been awesome on the series for every one of these episodes Pretty dang awesome And of course if you want to send eggs or have friends that are interested in sending eggs Be sure to share this video around and all that good stuff because I'm still taking eggs until the 16th gym And of course the way to send eggs is linked in the description with all along with all of my other videos and be sure to remember to comment the question of the day and any questions you have for me down below so uh yeah so i guess i'm gonna keep on going i did a little bit of work off the cam i went to battle those people like i said right here on this route and uh i actually i honestly went into this house off the of cam and i got a sunstone so uh that's a little progress update for right there um, I think I went inside of this house earlier. Oh, yeah, there was one thing I wanted to do before I yeah, I already went in here last episode There was one thing I also wanted to do before we start out doing all this other stuff I checked my berry pods before I started recording and I saw they were grown So let's go ahead and take them we get two orange berries for all the ones that we oops We get two orange berries for every tree. So uh, I think this might be enough I think we need only Five orange berries and we have six right now so we can feed all these orange berries to the mill tank and then save one to start planting and then regrow them again and get more. So, uh, because they only, they only think take like a, two days to grow, one day to actually grow, and we have to water it, and then the next day they're actually grown. So, uh, let's see how many orange berries this fat mill tank needs in order to be healthy. So, I hope it's no more than five. Otherwise, we'd be screwed and we just lose all our orange berries. I'm only gonna feed it five, okay? Okay, it's Christ, we give it an orange berry? Yes, let's give it an orange berry. I'm only gonna give it one, or I'm only gonna get it five. I have to save one orange berry just in case I have to uh, regrow some more. If if this mill tank needs a bunch, how many do you need? God dang it! Please be healthy. Oh, it's a little healthier. Wait, it became a little healthier. We already gave it three. Okay, this is the last one I'm feeding it. All right, you better be healthy. It's still getting healthier. How many orange berries do you need, you fat mill tank? Oh man! All right, so we gotta plant. We gotta plant our last orange berry then. Well, that sucks. <laughs> God dang it! All right, so tune in next time where we hopefully we'll try getting some moo, moo milk. Hopefully we'll have enough orange berries. I'm probably gonna plant orange berries off of cam and all that stuff. But anyway, let's keep on going. Uh, I think the next part of this route was on the other side of Olivine City, but I still don't have the HM Surf. Uh, Let's see if we can find it over here. I still I am book recording this, so I am recording this before we before our, uh, episode six comes out, which should be actually scheduled in about 15 minutes. So uh, no, because this does good waves. I see you don't have surf yet. This is just between you and me, but I got surf from a man in Egrutique, and I still think he's here. Why don't you try going there? Okay, so this game actually guides us to go to Egrutique City to get surf. Okay, so I guess we'll find out how to get surf right now. So let's go back all the way to Ekrutik City. Oh shoot. Please tell me we don't have to go through any wild grasses. Wild, oh my gosh. We'll find out right now though. I don't think it'll be too bad. Okay, so we can go up here. And we can go around this person. Okay, so we can, it's a straight, it's a home stretch right straight to Ekrutik City without any wild encounters. So let's keep on going over here. There's a man in Ekrutik who said they had it. Okay, let's keep on going though. Uh, I didn't do a key, uh, team recap because it, my team didn't really change at all. I, unless my levels changed a little bit, but I don't think I did. I don't think they did, too drastically at least. Okay, so there's a man in Ekru too. Let's, let's just check the domo, or the dojo. Oh, here we go, we activated a trap card, <laughs> or an event. Hey, hey! Oh, it's, is that a girl or a boy? She has pink hair. Stop dancing like a fear or stop dancing such a serious dance. Show me s something like a hula dance. You know what's you must have put such a request on me. Huh? Are you telling me I, you don't respect what the customer wants? Customer? Well then, <laughs> I'll show you how to dance. I'll show you a great one. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> oh shoot, I don't think the kimono chick talked at all. Okay, well, this guy better not have a jolty on. What's up? <laughs> Who are you? You dare get in my way? 
I guess so, since you're trying to get a freaking... This is an awkward situation right here. He's trying to get a free show. A dancing show. <laughs> but I don't know. Alright, so this coffin's only level 25, so let's go ahead and side beam this guy. Oh, that would rhyme. That was some bars right there. Okay, side beam OKO is a freaking coughing, so it doesn't... It isn't able to even explode all over me. I need to take the experience here off of Sir Knight, because it's level 33, my highest level Pokemon. Uh, let me go stay in with my goal or against a gold bat and i guess we can just super speed side beam this guy and he should be oh not dead but bite doesn't do jack squat ha get two ko'd all right flanders now level 32 all right there we go all right so now i should i'm gonna give my experience shares to uh either champ or whoever the lowest level pokemon was but we've to we defeated this team rocket grunt trying to get a free show on the dance flow <laughs> oh no you make me look like a villain Oops, I have an important mission. If they find out I was wasting time here, they might, or they'll make me start over as the lowest team Rocket Grunt. I better leave now. So he was trying to get a free show. What a creepo, man. Okay, let me take the experience share off of him. And let's give it to Peanut. Peanut needs the experience share. He needs to learn Earthquake ASAP, man. It really does. Okay, let's give the experience share. Oh yeah, there's the Sunstone that I got off of Cam. Literally like two minutes before I started this episode. I was like, oh man, why didn't I... Why didn't I start recording? So you must be hurry, correct? That was an indeed excellent, or that was indeed excellent. Kind and strong. Good at raising Pokemon as well. That person does not know what to look in, po in people. Oh, 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 that was just me talking to myself. Never mind. Okay, so where do I get HM Surf though? Do you give it to me? Oh, wonderful. You were so courageous for your age. That was a rare sight to see. I want you to have this. Don't be shy. Take it. I call it. He gave me HM03. Surfing! Alright, that surf. It's a move that lets Pokemon swim across water with ease. And freaking Flanders will definitely. Uh, Fl yeah, Flanders will definitely benefit from this HM two times over. Okay, let's get surf and let's see who can learn it. Oh, what do you know? Only Flanders can learn it. <laughs> okay, so forget Bubble Beam and let's learn surf. Right? Yeah, it's a better option overall. Uh, but Bubble Beam has a chance to uh, lower the speed, but I don't think Surf Hit does anything because it's already too powerful as it is. Alright, Flanders learned Surf. I kind of miss 6th Gen stuff where the TM is permanent. I kind of miss that aspect about this game. Or about 6th Gen. I don't really like that. I'm kind of spoiled now because I, I really wish that TMs were didn't disappear after one use. But oh well. Maybe say that for a later Let's Play in 6th Gen. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, Alright, so now that we've got Surf, we can go try heading on over to Olivine. No, this is Olivine. What, is that? what the heck is that? Seanwood City to get that super potion for Ampharos. So let's keep on going over there. But while we're going over there, let me real talk with you guys just a little bit. So it's been a freaking stressful week for me uh, this week. Just because I've been trying... Because so, I call... School starts in a month. I, I should say college for me starts in a month, and I'm trying to find a place to live because I'm going out of I'm going out of town to go to the college that I want to go to, or if you want to, it's uni or university. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, I don't know. It's trying to find a place to live, trying to find an apartment or a roommate to live in a house with that's near the school. Uh, it's been pretty stressful for me. So, uh, and one thing that I'm that did come across my mind while I was looking for these while I was looking for a place to live is that if I do get a roommate I'm pretty sure constant uploads on this channel will be no more just because I don't really unless like the guy is cool with it or unless the person that unless I don't feel awkward recording with the person there I, w I wouldn't record any solo commentary videos anymore if I even decide to bring my computer because the computer is a beast and it's kind of sketchy bringing it to a place I'm not familiar with but uh I don't know I'm as far as solo commentary I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be living with someone else and I'm pretty sure that I won't be uh doing a bunch of a bunch of videos anymore like daily like I do right now I don't know it's kind of scary in a sense that I'll, I'll, I'll probably only do uh co-op commentary like if someone else is in the call with me so it doesn't seem like I'm just talking to myself like I am right now because uh, it's always been a problem with me that uh, 
I never record when people are home, so I never record on the weekends because, uh, yeah, people are always home off of work. So I always get my recording done throughout the week, which is when I'm recording this. Today's a Monday. And, uh, so yeah, it's, I don't know, it's just weird talking to myself with someone in the someone in the house and plus like if I were to be talking to myself this loud with someone else in the house I'd, they'd probably like tell me something especially if I don't know him next year or next month whenever I'm living with someone so I don't know the channel is looking I don't know I'm kind of I'm kind of nervous about how the channel is gonna turn out next month whenever I start moving and all that stuff but just know that uh I'm, I'll, I'll be really busy. I'll probably like post a little vlog or update on my channel whenever the time comes just to give you an update on uh, If I'm able to keep on recording or unless it's just my schedule becomes too hectic with university and living with another roommate and all that stuff I don't know. I just thought I'd tell you guys ahead of time before uh, I do actually do an update Because I should be moving out about like I think not even not even a month like I guess yeah, exact actually exactly a month I should be like out of the house getting ready for college university the big guns <laughs> the big leagues man the major leagues this is our first encounter isn't it Oh shoot I haven't been keeping track <laughs> Okay 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 hold on hold on hold the phone real quick let me lead seed He's gonna barrier Okay let's lead seed it first and then let's put it to sleep Toxic spikes. I can just switch into my big mom and the toxic spikes are no more. Okay, so I'm guessing this is our first encounter. So I'm going to try catching this tentacle. It's just with a, a Pokeball. It's a tentacle. It's a pre-evolution. First stage evolution. It should be easy to catch. Okay, hold on, hold on. That was a defective Pokeball. I'm, I'm going to get my money back for that. This Pokeball should work. Hopefully. One. Two. Three. All right, I got him. I was right. What? What's up with Pokeballs? Some Pokeballs just like they weren't made in the factory, right? So they just like don't even wiggle once, and then the next Pokeball, boom, catches it because it was made right. The Jellyfish Pokemon, and when it's tied out, when it's when the tie goes out, dehydrated tentacle remain remains can be found wash up on the shore. Dead. Po oh my gosh, they just pretty much say you can find dead tentacles whenever there's no tides. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, like our all, all our other Pokemon that we catch in the wild, we name them Swap. And it sent, got sent to Bill's PC. Okay, so let me double check to see if the, this was our first encounter. Because I'm pretty sure we only battled that dude. Okay, so this is Olivine City. And this was Route 40. Okay, so this I'm pretty sure that was our first encounter. I hope it was. So let me write down Route 40. I don't even know what... uh. I don't even know what level it was. I think it was like level 28 or something like that. Uh, but we can go ahead and match a Pokemon right now. And then for the second half of this episode, we can keep on trying to head on over to Scenewood City. Alright. So. Let go. <laughs> Alright, so it's a level 27. Okay. Uh, oh, man. I really... Now I'm second guessing myself. Like, was that the first encounter? Oh, no. Because I did battle someone else. I did battle another Pokemon. I remember that before I caught this tentacle. But I'm pretty sure that was the trainer battle. If not, let me guys know and I can just switch this encounter out for the next encounter. Okay, so where do we leave off? There's one, two, three, four, five, six in there. One, two, three, four, five in here. So we left off in box two. Let's get out the dice roll at. And we're going in column one, row two. No, that's oh no, column two, row one. Column two, row one. I, I can't it's backwards on this camera, but whenever I look at it. Y'all guys see it regularly, but it's backwards for me. Okay, so row two, column one. Row two, column one. Boom! Alright, we got Jay holding the electorizer. Okay, just one moment. Uh, I f totally forgot to go on Do Not Disturb on Skype. Okay, good thing I remember that. Okay, so we got Jay. Jay Electronica! Oh, whoever said that? That's a, actually a funny nickname. If you're thinking of the same uh, reference as me. Jay Electronica? <laughs> that would actually be a really dope nickname right there. Props to you if you, that was actually the case. Okay, so let's not take... Or let's get the Electrorizer because I'm pretty sure this is Elekid. And we're going to get... This is meant to be an Electivire. J Electronica, so he's J Elector... <laughs> if, oh, that's awesome. That's an awesome nickname. I love it. I hope it's an Elekid. I hope that I'm, I'm thinking of the right... Uh, 
reference unless it's just like some random person named Jay or something. I don't know. But I was right. It is an Ella kid boy named Jay Electronica. <laughs> That's awesome. Jay Electronica. All right. I'm surprised I remember that name too. Jay. <laughs> I love that name. That's an awesome name. Okay, first of all, uh, like any other Pokemon, let's go ahead and check its moveset out. Uh, oops. Alright, let's check the summary on this guy. Let me go to the 4th gen moveset. I'm going back and forth from my Pokedex to the game. Okay, so let's go back over here. Yeah. J. He has static. He's an adamant nature. And I'm pretty sure uh, Electivire is half fighting type in this game whenever it evolves. So we gotta. So that would be actually really cool to use someday okay so that looks like a legit uh that looks like a legit a legit egg move set let's just check it out real quick okay so fire punch legit ice punch legit karate chop uh where is that at oh wait wait wait, wait. so fire punch ice punch yeah karate chop legit and cross chop legit boom 100 percent legit that's what i like to see that's what i like about you <laughs> all right so let's move this, let's move my champ back in here. And that is looking like a pretty cool backup box for us. By the way, this is like the default hacked mons that we hatched, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I just left them right there if, just in case anybody was wondering. Okay, so, so let's, uh, let's exit the box and let's head on over back to seeing what city where we were before. I hope that was a, I hope that was our first encounter. Oh, let me write it down. So there was an Ella Kids. So we pretty much... It's pretty much is an Electivire, cause uh, let me see. I think Electabuzz evolves like somewhere around around level twenty seven, and so once we do that, we can just use Electorizer and get an Electivire. Let me check that out. Actually, let me go back. I'm just curious now. Oh no, Electabuzz evolves at level thirty. Okay, so we would have to train it up a little bit if we wanted to uh, get an Electabuzz and then get an Electivire straight after that. Okay, so we're in the water, so I'm going to still keep Big Mama up front. I could switch in a certain Knight or Flanders to take care of the Tentacruels that are in here. But I don't think it matters. Oh, Wingles too. I didn't even think about Wingles. And of course I can't escape. Oh, gosh. Okay, so let's battle this. this is full. We need all the battles that we can do because our Pokemon, as we saw in the last episode, we were actually like barely on par with the trainer battles. Not even the gym battles, the trainer battles. Yeah, level 29. Actually, these are these levels are lower than they than what we're in the lighthouse, which is kind of weird. And oh, how am I getting confused if we're both males? Oh wait, I get confused because I kissed a girl or something. <laughs> I don't know how if how sweet kiss works, but Peter's not level 22, which is cool. Okay, uh, we can honestly go on a certain night and uh, break break this course of since it's half rock type. I think. I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, get okay. Oh, it's our night, boy. All right, here comes Octillery. I got my artillery, Octillery spitting all this. Oh no, I'm trying to rap. I've been working on a rap. That's why I've been rapping so much lately. Little spoiler, but uh, yeah, I have been. I've been busy with it. It's. I'm actually really excited to record it, but uh, it's probably one of my most difficult raps to actually record yet. It's it's uh, it's awesome. I'll tell you what. It's gonna be a Pokemon Go rap. That's all I'll say. A Pokemon Go rap, representing my team, just for just for my team. And I'm not gonna say my team because I already said it before. And I don't want to give any too. I don't want to give any more spoilers. But <laughs> it's it's coming. If I can pull it off decently, it's coming. All right. But enough of that. You'll see that in the near future, hopefully. But anyway, so yeah, I think I think this is a pretty long route in my opinion. So we're definitely gonna have to watch on our health, on our PP, and uh, just we might have to skip over a few battles depending on how this uh, how this route goes. But I think Big Mama's just pretty much okay in this whole team. So I think we're good right here. Let's keep on pedal dancing, these guys. Big Mama should be yep level 33. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Oh yeah, that was one thing I wanted to do. I kind of wanted to give my experience share to Champ because he should be close to leveling up to an, uh, to an Infernape. But just to be sure, just out of curiosity, 
Let me go ahead and check its, uh... Let me go ahead and check its, uh... Whatchamacallit? Its evolution chart. It evolves at level 36. Okay, so none of our Pokemon are that high level yet, so I don't... I'll, I'll go ahead and wait on it. I think, Mon I think uh, Monferno will evolve probably around next episode or two episodes from now. That's just my opinion. Okay, so Peanut's still level 32. You know what? Let's try Let's try getting Champ up at an Infernape. Because we'll definitely need an Infernape to take on uh, Jasmine with a Steel types. Well, actually, no. It's kind of scary to... That's Yeah, I don't, actually, I don't know if I want to use Champ against Jasmine. It is, it is super effective, but... Uh, let me give Peanut some leftovers. It is super effective, but it's kind of scary because most of Jasmine's Pokemon, I'm pretty sure, will have Earthquake. So Flanders might be good. I swear, if uh, if Jasmine's Pokemon have like freaking Thunderbolt on their Steel types, I'll be so mad. Flanders will be so screwed. Actually, yeah, all of my Pokemon could be screwed if Jasmine has Earthquake. We might be get swept by Jasmine. <laughs> That's scary, man. That's actually really scary. Okay, let me just keep on paddle dancing though. Boom! All right, cool. Actually, what the heck? I used Petal Dance two times, but the PP doesn't go. It doesn't. I only lost two PP right now, though. Oh, that's kind of weird. I guess Petal Dance doesn't like count for every time I, every turn I use Petal Dance. It counts for every time I click on it. That's kind of crazy. But where this is Route 41, I did catch that. So uh, this is our first encounter for sure. And it is a Tentacruel. Why does that have to be a Tentacruel? Those are hard to catch. <laughs> no. Oh, well, we can Leech Seed. Uh, we can do the Leech Seed uh, Sleep Powder combo on this guy. And it should be easy to catch him. Especially because I have Ultra Balls. So we're all good. We're all good. We should be good. Okay. Oops. Don't want to do that again. Okay. Let me go ahead and use a Pokeball again. I'm just going to use all my Pokeballs because we don't really have a need for them. Okay. That was a defective Pokeball again. Didn't even wiggle once. Just for the heck of it, let's try a Great Ball. Great Balls are my best, uh... Great Balls always have the best catch rate for me. I don't know why. One. Okay, no. It's the same... Tentacruel legit is a Great Ball. Okay, this is kind of scary because Tentacruel is getting lower... Uh, it's getting lower HP, so we gotta watch out for that. Let's use our one and only Ultra Ball. Can we catch it? One. Two. Three. Yes, got the Tentacruel, bada bang, bada boom. It is a level 29. I already wrote it down. Oh, no, I didn't write it down. Level 29. All right, so that's got, that could be another egg hatch once we make it to Seenwood City or we once we go back to Olivine to heal up our Pokemon. All right, so that's two Tentacruels to swap out. Or not Tentacruels, but you know what I mean. Same evolution. <laughs> All right, swap. There we go. All right, let's keep on going in Route 41. Actually, I think we should be close to Seenwood. Let's keep on battling, though. We still have about seven minutes left in this episode, so... I don't know. We should be good to go. Oh, all right. So, but yeah, that crazy college real talk, man. Oh, Gyarados. No, I kind of don't want to play this. Gyarados might have bounce. And it has... Oh, gosh. So let's sleep powder. Let's put it to sleep first. Oh, it's going for the sweep. It's going for the sweep. Let's lead seat it. Boom. Okay, so now we set up on it. I think I feel a little bit comfortable. Look at that. Gyarados actually sweeps my whole team. If it has Thunder Fang, it sweeps my Flanders. Or it sweeps my whole team. Uh, let's go for a side beam, actually. Oh, shoot. Good thing we got Leech Seed. Oh, shoot. That's kind of scary. Let's surf. Twister. That doesn't do jack squat. <laughs> Alright, so good thing we set up Leech Seed on this guy. Otherwise, we would have been so screwed against this Gyarados. Gyarados is actually really scary. I need something to counter a Gyarados really bad. Not just the champ. Not just my champ, because champ gets bodied by him too. Actually, I think champ could okay oh Gyarados. Only if he uh, outspeeds the Gyarados and okay-o's it. Other than that, Inferno's dead. Or Infernape would be dead. With one surf or one with one waterfall from Gyarados, which actually scares me because I did rem I do remember that uh, Lance has a Gyarados and uh, a Gyarados with Dragon Dance, if I remember correctly. Dragon Dance, Waterfall, Ice Fang, and Balance or something like that. So really scary if my Champ won't be able to OKO a Gyarados. Oh, that's really scary. <laughs> Here goes do gong gong gong. Yeah, that's actually really scary. Okay, please don't Aurora beam me. Okay, I'll speed it. Pedal Dance should kill it. 
Yes! Okay, good. Freaking Dugong scared me too. God dang. Ooh. Good thing I outsped that fool. Okay, so we should be really close to the scene with like really close. Oh, we are here. Okay, good. So we can go hatch that this one last egg and get the secret potion to end off this episode. And then next time we'll head back on over to Olivine City and take care of that Ampharos and try challenging Jasmine if we can. Okay, they're waiting for supplies. They're broke as heck. I would love to live in Seenwood City. That's a good question of the day for you guys. Uh, if you had to live in one city in Johto, what would it be? I think mine would be Seenwood City right here. It's a nice little town next to the beach. Like, really cool. It's like my place to live. Could you look over my Pokemon for a while? Wait, oh, oh, is this where we get our Shuckle? Is this, an, this could be another Swap Egg or Swap Pokemon. All right, let's do that. Let's go ahead and get this Shuckle 2 to swap out. Oh, no, we, let's get our Super Potion first. First things first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. <laughs> for real. Uh, is this it right here? We need a shop or something. There should be a chick here somewhere to give us a Super Potion. Hey, good. I, oh, wait, you'd be awesome. You should raise your very own Glider. Use this to evolve it. Ooh, Razor Fang. Uh-oh. Just in case we forget to take off a Razor Fang off a of Gligar hatch. <laughs> it says, oh, we can get a Razor Fang and a Razor Claw. Not bad at all. I'm rhyming too much off the top of my head right here. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So, where is that secret potion? I want to get that secret potion. Actually, I think it's right here. That chick is Chuck's wife. I know that. Okay, no, this is a super rod. Oh, wait, what? Go ahead and take a picture. Check the camera and it'll take a picture for you. It's a good memory for your Pokemon and your journeys. I should actually start taking pictures. I don't know. Okay, so come on. Where is that secret potion at? But you can't use fly without this city's gym badge. If you beat the gym leader here, you can't see. I have a nice gift for you. Where is this secret potion at? It's, I know it's in one of these. Okay, okay. I know it's in one of these houses. Okay, no. This is the shuckle, dude. Okay, no, no, no. That's level 27. Let's look in here again. I'm pretty sure. What the heck? I apologize for waiting for supplies because you come back later. Where the heck is the super potion? Okay, screw it. We're just going to hatch eggs for, for the rest of this episode. Let's go ahead and put an egg back. All right, let's go ahead and leave a Pokemon out so we can get that shuckle and then come back. Okay, where are we at? Okay, right here. So let's put Champ away and let's go get that shuckle real quick. Freaking shuckle, man. <laughs> okay, where'd that tentacle go? Was it in box one? Oh, I hope it isn't. Otherwise, we'll get so lost. Well, no, that's why we named we named them Swap. So we're all good. Okay, let's get this Shuckle Lagally. And uh, hopefully, we don't have to return this Shuckle. A guy about your age with piercing eyes. Oh wait, oh he's talking about freaking Ginger. Don't let Ginger get to you, man. He's a freaking. He's all talk, but he can't. He sucks at battle. All right, I got a Pokemon. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this Pokemon forever. He has an item too. So let's. Take that berry juice from the shuckle. Oops, I was gonna give him one. Let's take. Wait, what the heck? Okay, let me read what I'm doing first. Item. Take. <laughs> there we go. It's a shuckle level 25 or level 20. So this is a gift Pokemon. Technically. And it's level 20. Okay. So now let's go ahead and hatch. Uh, this episode might be a little long since we're hatching two Pokemon right now. Unless we want to just hatch one egg and save the next one for next episode. Um, I think I'll do that actually because we already hatched an egg this episode. Okay, so there's a tentacruel. Oh, jeez. How am I going to do this? Let's move this guy over here. Okay, we're going to have to manually move him to this one. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's a shuckle. Okay, actually, let me do the shuckle first because I I'm not able to nickname it Swap, so I'm gonna just get it out the way for now, and I'll leave this one right here. Okay, so we left off in box two, so now we're in box three now. Let me get on my dice roll app really quickly, and let's roll the dice. Hey, roll the dice. Row three, column four. Yeah, that is perfect because that's right where that Silcoon is. Alright, row two, or no, row four, column two, right next to that Wurmple. Okay, let's do that then. We haven't catched a row one, so row four, column two. Yep, right there. Boom! It's Rocky holding TM59. 
Rocky. Is this a Hitmonchan or something? Because Rocky is a boxer, so Hitmonchan is a boxer too. That would be a pretty cool and clever nickname. That would be my guess. Well, then again, it wouldn't have to be a Tyrogue. Wait, a generated shockwave generated by user's gaping mouth? What the heck? I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure this will be a hit, a Tyrogue and we evolve it into a Hitmon Lee or something. Or Hitmon Chan, I mean. That's my guess. Oh? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's see what this egg is. Survey says... Oh, shoot, an Aerodactyl. Okay, so Rocky, he's a rock type. Okay, I was thinking like an actual boxer, but Rocky with the rock types. Aerodactyl, not bad, not bad. That's an awesome egg hatch right there. I love using Aerodactyls. Aerodactyl was our best Pokemon in our last series for the Pokemon Diamond Randomizer Wedlock. Okay, so this is how we're gonna end off the, uh, this is how we're gonna end off the episode right here. So uh, let me go to the Generation Four move set for Aerodactyl. Let's get the summary, and let's go to Heart Gold Soul Silver. It's a lonely nature. I think that's neutral. Oh no, that ups attack, lowers defense. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so it knows Fire Fang. It knows Fire Fang, Ice Fang, and Thun Thunder Fang. Oh my gosh, all the fangs, and they're all the level one move sets, so it's 100% legit. Could have put, you could have tagged along Bite or Wing Attack on there, but <laughs> nah, that's a nice. Oh wait, what was the TM it came with? It was TM59, right? Oh gosh, that ad. Oh gosh, that ad. No, get out of here, you dumb freaking Clash of Clans. <laughs> TM59 is Dragon Pulse. Oh shoot. Okay, never mind. Forget that last TM. Dragon Pulse would be really good for it. All right, so that's a 100% legit. So let me. I switched it out for the Shuckle, right? So it should be level 20. So that's an Aerodactyl. I totally misspelled that on my pad, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's only for my use. So you guys will never see it. Okay, so let's put it back. And so next time we'll uh, hatch. We'll start our next episode hatching an egg at level 29 in box four. And hopefully... Okay, so yeah, that'll be it for this episode then. So next time, uh, hopefully we'll try... Finding that secret potion and heading back on over to Olivine City for the, uh... Wait, what the heck? Okay, yeah, so next time we'll head on over to Olivine City after we get the super potion if we can find it. And all that good stuff. So, uh, and then hatch an egg to start next episode as well. So, yeah, that'll be it for this episode then. So, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to pick up that like button down below and all that good stuff. So, thank you guys for watching once again. I'll see you over in the next episode. But until then, stay safe, guys.